It's talking about Western women who need to stop competing with men. Mm-hmm. You know, I've talked about their insatiable need to compete, their insatiable need to win against, to get a win against men, mm-hmm. to say, hey, look, look at what women can do and girl power. And they want it, but then they'll be the same one talking about where are the men at? You know, why the men aren't dating us? Why the men aren't protecting us? But you claim that you don't need them. You claim, you know, that you can compete with them and win. But why do you now want them to come to your rescue whenever you need it? It's like, it's like they don't understand how bad they make themselves look. They want to make it seem like it's everybody else's fault. No, it's your fault. And I honestly believe that if most men woke up and said, you know what, I'm not taking this BS from her, the yes from these women anymore. And they got themselves together. They, I'm not going to be living up under no woman no more. If these, if a lot, especially in the black community, if they were to clean themselves up and stop just dealing with any type of woman, these women would be forced to change. Yes. Not saying I'm, I'm saying that they, you know, I'm, I'm here to, you know, because I want women to say, no, I'm, I'm beyond that. What I'm saying is I want men to do better because that's right. going to be where things make its turn. Right? right. If men clean themselves up and say, you know, I want better. You know, I don't want to be broke and living off women. You know what I'm saying? If they, if they make those changes, yeah. things could be a lot better. So what do you think? Yeah, I, I think you're right. I think you're right. But I think it's also just hard because men still want some form of companionship and they don't see anywhere in the near future that these women are going to suddenly start conforming to the, what they're doing. So whether they start pulling away and telling women, listen, I'm not going to go for that anymore. I, you know, I want this quality of life. I think it's going to be hard for these men because it's so unfair to say, well, then just die alone. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. so unfair. So it's, they are unfortunately maybe going to end up pairing with one of these women and the cycle continues. Yeah, the you re- know, because, and, yeah. Yeah, the reason why I say that is because these men out here playing stepdaddy, they out here being berated yeah, and talked true. down to by these women, being basically verbally abused by these women. That's true. And a lot of these men don't have to be in these situations. These women are doing this because they feel like you don't have no options like that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Even though they're the ones with no options, you know? Yeah. And in those extreme I, cases, yeah, I agree. Yeah. And also, they want equality without being, you know, and not, you know, unequal responsibility. Like, they want the praise in society, but then they don't want the criticism that comes with it as well, right? Or on the job, right? You want, you want to, you want equal pay, but you want it for less work. And you know, I, I feel like the competition is in the in the household. It's at work. It's everywhere. And it shouldn't be if you want a capable man. You can't. You got to stop competing with them every step of the way. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. they need to get rid of that independent ideology. It's worthless. It's absolutely worthless. Yeah, it's it's more than worthless. But yeah, uh, it's funny you mentioned some other categories there. And I was going to say in the gym, I know when it comes to certain things of women competing against a man, if the mm-hmm. woman wins, that stuff is going viral. Like, yeah, it is. Like, oh my god, she beat a man. You yeah. Know? <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah, it, we're very competitive in that way, but not against ourselves. It's definitely against the men, and we have to win. And I see people to go go to no ends to win, especially when they know their competitors are men. As a as a woman, you know, will go to any lengths to win over a man, and it's it's crazy. I don't know when that suddenly started happening. Yeah, I think it's 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 because of the the, the uh, media. I think mm-hmm. they're the ones that did that, and they're constantly trying to pit women and men against each other. If a man is critical of a woman, oh, it's because she's a woman. They push that narrative in movies. They like a girl can do this, and you know, um, you know, you got you got women fighting men in movies and TV shows, and it's like they're trying to they're trying to make it be be noticed that women can just do all these different things, which is fine. I'm not here to say that you know women can't you know do well in life, but you can't ask for protection but then be competing against men at the same time. You you need, you got to choose one. You either going to be a feminine woman that needs to be the damsel in distress, or oh, you're going to want to, uh, you know, you're going to say F that being a damsel in distress. I'm going to defend myself. Okay. Well, right, right. don't do that. Yeah. 
But don't ask I, men to come to the rescue with a cape on. It's not gonna happen. There you go. There you go. No supermen around here. Like we just men should just be allowed to be men. We don't they don't have to be rescuers of all women that have messed things up for themselves. You know, it's just yeah, it's it shouldn't be that way. Yeah, and that's why exactly why men should be continue to be critical of them. If you want to see the rest of this podcast, make sure y'all click the link in the description box and go and check it out. Also, make sure you support the podcast, donate, share. I'll see you next time.